Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Just Cause 2. I am Circle Master. This would be the cue for my co-commentator to introduce himself if he thought of that. <laughs> Every time I come on one of these videos, I'm just going to make the silence longer and longer. <laughs> Hi, I'm C. Jacobs, again. I'm back. Eventually, you're back. At so you know, at so I nailed that landing, by the way. You did, it's so true. Yeah. You Like, man... That was the best landing ever. Okay, so you know how they say in competitive swimming that belly flops are perhaps not so stylish? I've heard that. Rico disagrees. Oh yeah, the way he's sitting is so cool! <laughs> he's doing the Mr. Burns finger tent. No, I meant Rico. <laughs> oh, Rico. He's doing the leg over the chair thing? He doesn't give a shit. <laughs> well, it's a nice chair. He wants to sit in all of the chair. That, I mean, he doesn't want true. to just sit on the cushion. He's being economical. He wants to enjoy the whole experience of the chair. That's right, exactly. As it once held a place of worship for the local tribe. You know, it's funny. I, I would assume that a helicopter would be loud enough that you wouldn't be able to just talk at a normal volume, especially with the door open. You would think that. I guess just cause disagrees. No, you'd be absolutely right. Oh. But that's. <laughs> Just Cause disagrees, because it's not as cool. Maybe maybe Just Cause has, like, it's an alternate reality where they've invented a new type of helicopter that's, like, eerily quiet. It's not that. It's just Just Cause does whatever's coolest. And it's not cool to have them wearing the headsets and shouting into them to be heard over the sound of the helicopter blades. I guess that's very true. Now, which way are these jerks going to go to get to the base? I don't know, so I have to wait for them to start walking. Oh, this dude sounds like a fucking nerd. <laughs> he's a technician with a gun, so he's half nerd, I guess? Now go, roaches. Accomplish this stronghold mission. Pushed up his fucking glasses. Big trouble. Scorpio, deal with it! Now... <laughs> oh, I love the voice acting in this game so Oh, the much. voice acting is amazing. But I actually like this one because it's not, you know, the standard facility. It's this village-type setup. Which I think there's only two of in the whole game. This is, this is urban warfare, man. This is like... I would dare not call Panau urban. At least not this part. This is... So Suburban warfare. No, this is rural warfare. Okay, fine. This this is not anywhere cultivated. Okay, fine. I, I like that... Uh, and I don't know where the technician went at this point. No, it's fine. He's doing his own thing. I, oh, I like he, that he, took he went through the cornfields, I guess. Gun. That's probably the best way to handle them. Well, once you get the Gatling gun, it is the only way to take out anything. I guess that's true. You, you, you pretty much can't put it down. I mean, you can put it down, but why would you, you know? No, you can't. Oh, you can't? You straight up it, can't get it's, rid of it? It's like Lay's, where it says you can't eat just one. You can't shoot just <laughs> one Gatling gun, I guess. You, you, it's a compulsion. You know why? It's like the one ring. It's the one Gatling gun. You, you know why they won't let you put the, uh, the Gatling gun down? Because you grapple hooked it? Just because oh man! It's too oh, cool. oh. <laughs> It's gonna be a shame when you can't finish any of your other LPs when I murder you for that. <laughs> They're all gonna die. I I'm really gonna miss out on Frank West in uh, Dead Rising 2 off the record because I'm really enjoying that LP. I thank you. I'll miss I'm, it. I'm I'm really enjoying doing that LP. But uh, I'll miss it because I have to kill you now. Yeah, I you know well that's fine. I'm ready for it. <laughs> it's a shame that these guys don't have grappling hooks. That, that would, no, they that do have rocket just... launchers, though. Oh. Well, if they had the parachute grappling hook thing, that would probably make this mission a lot easier. Uh, it... In some of the missions, you do see, uh... Enemy troops parachute into these strongholds. And they're super easy to shoot out of the sky with a Gatling gun. <laughs> Well, that's just because Rico is the, the hyper-competent protagonist, you know? Like, if, if he was just another one of these random, fashionably dressed dudes, you know? I don't know. If you gave me a Gatling gun, I bet I could shoot people out of the sky with it. Well, okay, fine. Well, uh, let me clarify. If you gave me a Gatling gun with infinite ammo, <laughs> I could probably shoot people out of the sky with it. 
Because well, like otherwise, I'm going to hold down the trigger, and it's going to be empty in like 10 seconds. Well, and then I'll go, why can't I have more bullets? Where'd all my bullets go? Wow, you're really fucking laying into this truck. Well, it wasn't blowing up. It was an armored truck. I mean, yeah. Fair enough, I guess. No, okay. No, no. I have a question about Just Cause 2. This place belongs to you. And why would you have... I've heard that you okay. blow stuff up in this game. Okay, so I've heard... There's I've heard there's anecdotal evidence to support that, but statistically speaking, you can't rely on that kind of evidence. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that poor man! <laughs> well, he shouldn't have walked in front of Rico while he was shooting a Gatling gun. I guess that's true. I, I guess that... I guess that is kind of his bad on that one. Although, if we're going to talk about culpability and direct causes it's the Panawan military's fault for putting a gatling gun there for rico to steal that causes all of these deaths on a scale of one to five where would you rank the gatling gun <laughs> <laughs> wait is one the best or is five the best in this scale i would just rate everything a one everything is at fault here oh so one is most at fault yes okay well then what's most at fault is uh square enix the, okay, yeah, you know what? Because they published the game? That's very true. <laughs> They're also at fault for what happened to Final Fantasy, but I'm not going to get into that now. Oh, that, that is a shame. That is, It's a shame that Final Fantasy is dead. You know, 20 years ago, I thought I was going to buy every Final Fantasy game that they ever made. And then 10 years ago, I stopped giving a shit completely. <laughs> now I'm making that mistake now, huh? No. <laughs> So what are we doing now? Is it, is now we're doing the Ular Boys stronghold mission, because we just did the roaches. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's just all the three strongholds are rolled into one video. Rico's playing all sides of the field here, huh? More more talking in helicopters, huh? Well, that's how you know it's a stronghold mission, because they give you the brief in a helicopter instead of from the back of a truck van thing. If they give it from the back of a truck van thing, it's a mission. It will show okay, fair enough, I guess. Fair enough, just cause. Continue our noble struggle. The depot. The, the depot, huh? But it will the be depot. No for you the depot. <laughs> that's how you pronounce that word. That's, yep. that's. You nailed it, man. Here's your pay. Your unionized pay. I go down to the Home Depot all the time to that buy hardware supplies. Away, that's, no, it's hardware supplies. That's hardware. Hot hardware. Hardware supplies. Okay, well, you better protect these triplets with your life, man. Okay, move in. I only you care about the technician. Go. You get me safely to the command entrance on the upper level. From there, I can... <laughs> that was just mean. That guy didn't even... The guy hadn't he... even acknowledged your existence yet. He was going to, see? The other guy shot at me, he would have too. Well, sure. I, I feel like that might be a little bit overkill. Oh man, Xeno 426 is now playing War Game Red Dragon. We should <laughs> Thanks for being the first person to call out the uh, the Steam notifications that I never turn off. We we should be a uh, we should be doing a let's play of that instead. <laughs> of Warframe? No thanks. No, I think it was War Game Red Dragon or something. Oh, i I'd never even heard of that game before. You you should ask Xeno 426 if he would like to <laughs> guest on your Just Cause playthrough because then you can tell him. Just kidding, you already have. <laughs> you had better list him as a co-commentator for this video. No, but he didn't provide any commentary, though. <laughs> His... Oh! <laughs> yeah, remember Rocket Snipers? You remember Rocket Snipers from the last time you were in a video with me. Oh, that's great. I, I love... Oh, no! <laughs> yeah, the Rocket Snipers have homing rockets, apparently, because he shot me on the side of a building. Oh, I love Rico's Rico's stupid fucking ragdoll physics. <laughs> ragdoll physics are the best thing to happen to physics since Newton. On the upper level. Since I thought you were gonna say since Hitler, and I was like, well, he didn't he didn't do much for physics. But he exactly. Was a great man. I wanted to say somebody that actually had something to do with physics. I can respect that. I can respect not taking the low road, cause that's what I did. That's what I would have done. I would have. No, you the did it. Road. You you called out Hitler in a context that had no business to calling out Hitler. Also, I realize these guys don't even go up that path, they go up the side path. Yeah, they've got they, they've got minds of their own, man. They, no, they don't. Just, they have pathing scripts. Well, that's the thing, man. They're not just simple AIs. 
they're simple AIs on a mission. Mostly they're just simple. <laughs> well, yeah. But listen, man, can you fault them? They have been trying to stir up this revolution for so long now, the and they, they finally power. have Rico to stand in the way of rockets for them. I don't even know that they're stirring up a revolution. I mean, the Roaches are stirring up a revolution. Or not the ro the Reapers are stirring up a revolution. The Roaches are trying to get paid for their criminal activity. They're basically the Mafia. I don't even know what the ULR boys are trying to do. They're just trying to stir up trouble, I assume. The, they're, just, they're just the dudes that wear yellow and call you Sir Dadu. <laughs> I remember that from what I... Yeah, why do they call you that? What does that mean? Uh, Sir Dadu, I forget what language it is, but in the old thread, somebody pointed out that it means soldier. Ah, so he's calling you okay. a soldier. That that would make sense. Like it's not some weird like daddy dom kind of thing, and they're like calling you their their daddy in their weird language. No. Their weird foreign tongue that I, an American, just can't comprehend. I only Pretty speak much. one language. Anglais. Um, American. American. <laughs> well, you know throw, what they man. say. Something racist here. <laughs> you know what they say. Something, something, here's a joke. <laughs> well, I didn't want to actually say something racist in my videos. Uh, you, you won't recall because you haven't seen any other videos of this Let's Play. I watched the old videos. Uh, do you remember the episode where I was talking to someone about Peter Dinklage and what you call little people slash dwarves slash midgets and how Peter Dinklage is an actor and all of his characters have had opinions, but we don't know his opinion. That was a long setup. Hit me with it. <laughs> What's the... I pretty much just said the whole thing, but he made a comment about, uh, he called Pan Baby Penny a dwarf or something. And I'm like, I don't know that that's the right word to use. And to defend his use of the word dwarf, he cited uh, Tyrion Lannister from Game of Thrones, the character, the fictional character played sure. by Peter Dinklage. Sure. At which point I pointed out that's a fictional character. <laughs> and you, Peter Dinklage was also an elf, where his character's whole scene was he didn't want to be called an elf, he wanted to be called a little person, and he was horribly Wait, oh, offended. Oh yeah, that's right. That I, I remember that movie. And then I followed that up by saying, but that is also a fictional character, and neither one necessarily represents the actual Peter Dinklage's actual opinion. And I invited Peter Dinklage, if he was watching, to leave a comment or get in touch to give me his opinion. Let me uh, guess, let me I'm guess. He's going to be in the next video. <laughs> He's going to be in a future video. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's just his whole schedule with filming Game of Thrones and the Adam Sandler movies that he does for some reason. It, it it's uh, There's logistics behind it, I that's, guess. That's the thing, man. All this time, we thought LP stood for Let's Play. It actually stood for Let's Peter. <laughs> I thought you were going to say it stands for a little person. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was where you were going with it, with the whole discussion. Hey, you, you person watching this video, you can turn this off right now, because it doesn't get any better than that. Wow, that's sad. I'm, wow, I should just stop Let's Playing then. Please, please. If, that was my, if that was my peak, man, I should have never started to begin with. This has all been a waste of time. Well, okay, but think about it this way, right? Every... Every Let's Play has peaks and valleys, and your largest valley was a span of about three real-life years. Nearly <laughs> four. I'm so pretty you, sure we established that only a few weeks happened during that hiatus. You... you... <laughs> <laughs> so your valley is the valleyest of all valleys. My valley is the valley of death, is it, what you're saying. Exactly, basically. <laughs> so that's the thing. You can take solace in the fact that you have already had the worst thing that can happen to your LP happen. No, no, it's if, over with. It's if that if that joke was the peak of my LP career, <laughs> the worst thing that happened was I started an LP career. <laughs> <laughs> These stronghold commanders are not very good at their job. Well, if they were good at their job, then I wouldn't get to blow them up. 
Wow, they're they're chanting your name. Well, of course they are. I'm pointing guns at everything. <laughs> they're pleading for mercy, basically. You, you know, it's funny. This doesn't really seem like a stronghold anymore after you blew the whole place fuck up. Well, the walls are still there. Fair enough, I guess. But it's there, still a defensible the, position. The structural integrity might be perhaps a bit compromised. Thank you dearly. Feel free to replenish. Oh, you, you didn't wait for him to say Serdadu. It automatically opens the menu after that. The game but look, didn't new wait black for market him. items. We can now buy the weapon that every enemy drops. <laughs> you worked hard for it. And I a think car. you earned this, Rico. <laughs> and and a normal car. Would you like to buy buy a normal car? <laughs> <laughs> Rico, your influence throughout but now <laughs> is gonna be known for years to come. Take this Honda Civic. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can under I can sort of understand them gating it that far back because when something is unlocked in the black market, you can spend weapon parts to upgrade it. Uh, so I this would prevent you from just immediately upgrading the submachine gun and since it's the most prevalent weapon it would become the best weapon instantly that makes sense i i can style okay. but on the other hand i'm most of the way through the game i think and only now can i buy a submachine gun which everyone has ah uh, you know what fuck it the balancing might be a little off but hey that's video games them's the video games Scorpio, you seem well endowed with courage and Everything, everything she says is just like. Does does she want to bone him? Does she not? I, I, just I hate to bring up previous videos that nobody's seen, but we already discussed that conspiracy theory as well. I oh, gave I my know. conspiracy Remember, theory I, on that. I said I watched the older video. No, this was after the one that we recorded. It was a post hiatus video. Shit! All sorts of chemical weaponry. While the hazardous waste is pumped right into the river. Stop this. Oh, no! No shit! <laughs> I don't know what you're laughing at. We're still in the helicopter scene. Did you skip ahead? No! I'm just laughing because she says this angers me. It's like, fucking no shit! You wouldn't be telling him to blow everything up if it didn't anger you. You can't have your characters announce how they feel. That makes me feel angry. <laughs> oh, the writing in this game is so fucking bad, dude. I love it. You mean so fucking awesome? Oh, yes. That's that is in fact what I meant to say. I'm sorry. Until we get to the far side of the facility. I can already see things I want to blow up. <laughs> I know, yeah. Look at all that red on the horizon. Where is my where is my Gatling gun? You must keep me alive at all costs. We got a positive. Send back out. See, that guy didn't sound like as much of a nerd as the other guy. Uh. Okay, well, comparatively. Oh, hey, no. look. More <laughs> rocket snipers. <laughs> nice grapple. Find a way to open the entrance from within. So, so, wait. I have a, I have a question. Yes? What? Why are we doing this? We're taking over the stronghold. This is the Reaper's stronghold mission. Well, I, I know that, but like, why are we doing this besides it makes Bolo angry? <laughs> uh, the, it's a chemical weapons plant, then they're dumping toxins into the river, and she wants to take it over. And she Probably wants, she wants equal Rico parts. To, she wants Rico to be the one to do this because he's got a huge dick? Is that what I'm <laughs> getting at here? She wants Rico to do it because he's literally the only person who can do it. I mean, you know, fair enough, I guess. I, I guess that is true. Like, these guys would die in two seconds without Rico being here. They would get rocket sniped by the first rocket sniper. Pretty much. And they don't even have Xbox 360 controllers to get in the gate. <laughs> you did it. Rico is a huge Rico, gaming Rico. nerd. That's, that's what I'm gaining from these videos. No, I think it's Panau is a huge gaming culture. That's why all their technology runs on Xbox 360 controllers. Oh, it's it's like a, it's like a commentary on the on the state of video games, man. Like everything is Xbox 360 prompts nowadays. You know what happened to what happened to Sony in this game's world? 
Uh, Sony made their controllers Bluetooth, and I don't have a Bluetooth dongle for my PC. Because <laughs> I have PlayStation controllers. I just, I only have Xbox controllers that are compatible with Windows. Well, look at that. Your, your, your lack of a Bluetooth controller has, uh... No, I just said I have the controllers, I just don't have the hookup for my PC. Well, you know, you know what I mean. The, the lack of a Bluetooth hookup has directly affected the history of Panal. How does it feel to be, uh, intricately changing the game world? Well, I thought I was intricately changing the game world by blowing it up. Well, that too. But I mean intricately changing the world, the, sto the story, the, the lore. Like, if you had plugged in a PlayStation controller instead, think about all the gates that would be different, you know? All of the prompts in universe. I guess I never thought of it that way. <laughs> I guess there's a reason I never thought of it that way because that's stupid. That's stupid, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you are bringing new commentary to the table, and that's why I have you along, CJ. Because thank well, you. That, that's the thing, right? Is that you didn't say to me before we started that my commentary had to be insightful or interesting. <laughs> you just said that I had to be here for the video, and I am. Well, I did also say you had to commentate, to be fair. If you had just sat there silently like you tried to do at the beginning of the video, I would have gotten very unhappy. I guess I guess that is also true. Uh, I was actually... You know, it's funny you say that. I actually was going to remain silent the entire thing. That, that was my plan. But it, it's a good thing that you stepped in to, to stop that, to, to nix that. To, oh, God! <laughs> That's poor technician. <laughs> It's his own fault! He should know better! There is crossfire of mounted guns and Gatling guns. It is the worst spot in the world to stand, and he chose to stand there. It's, I guess, it, it, he, like I said, man, he has agency. He, he, like, even if it's really stupid agency. I don't think he has agency, though. I think that's why he stood there. He's a robot. Because the scripting told, because the scripting told him to stand there. He is a robot with Xbox 360 controller hands. Oh, you didn't even look at that explosion. Come on, man. Well, I was already looking for the next thing to explode. <laughs> you, you gotta explode everything you can before the uh, helicopter shows up. So that you don't have to come back here later. So that you can have the constant, you know, the highest explosion density per second that you can. Uh, I, I got you. OSHA, OSHA would hate this place. This system is complex. Well, OSHA doesn't have jurisdiction in Penau because I... it's fictional. <laughs> oh, come on, man. What even killed you? I think the guy off to the right that I couldn't see threw a grenade at me. Ah, oh, I see. Keep me safe you know, it's funny. Rico, Rico can get shot by bullets all goddamn day, but one grenade. I don't know, man. That shrapnel, it bores deep. Well, if it can bring down Walter White, it can bring down Rico. <laughs> Pop culture references, man. That's why you come to the Let's Play sub forum. If only you'd made that reference almost four <laughs> years ago, people wouldn't have had to watch Breaking Bad. <laughs> <laughs> if I had made it four years ago, it would show that I knew the story before it happened. I'm pretty sure the Breaking Bad finale was less than four years ago. It, no, it definitely was. That's what I was saying, is that you should just learn how to tell the future. You know? Oh, well, gee, that would solve so many problems of I, I, I should know, just learn to tell the future. It's just that easy. <laughs> I, I could win the lottery and get out of this Let's Play business. and <laughs> This dirty, <laughs> bloody Let's Play business. And stop whoring myself for the dollar a month I get on my Patreon. Scrounging in the mud <laughs> for the next Let's Play. You and I, Scorpio, we have such chemistry. That makes me horny. <laughs> you must admit they have more chemistry than we do. I guess that's true. I guess we have near true. chemistry. But we don't <laughs> quite have chemistry. What was that? That boat didn't even like. That boat didn't even do anything to you, man. It, it caught on fire. 